Anyways, though, this game started out just amazingly crazy, okay? Uh, there was just a lot of defense. But the Vikings went up 10 to nothing very early in the game, and then they ultimately collapsed for more on that later. Um... Then the Rams get the ball, and the Vikings get close to stopping them third and five. But then Terrence Newman gets completely owned on a deep downfield bomb from Foles to Kenny Britt. And then the uh, Rams score. Now they're down 10-6. They decide to go for two for some odd reason. Stuffed by Smith and uh, Limbaugh Joseph. And uh, so, yeah, so far... Uh, it's 10-9, they're hanging on, uh, and then they go in, it's 12-10 at halftime, Rams in the lead with, there's three seconds, and they attempt a field goal, Dregs Airline nails a 45-yarder, Rams up 15-10 at half, uh, now let's discuss Teddy Bridgewater, Bridgewater with a very bad game, I gotta say, um, very, he was overthrowing, underthrowing, should have took off, and he didn't, and he would be sacked, and he'd hang onto the ball way too goddamn long. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was definitely disappointing that Teddy played like that. So, he was being retard, basically, the whole first half. So, yeah, and then, just to start the second half, of course, just to make all the Vikings fans happy, Teddy throws a pick on a long bomb. Which you get really nervous about when any whenever Teddy goes deep nowadays, because it's like er there, and he's always under pressure, and it's always a really bad throw. And so yeah, but then on third and twenty, the Vikings defense holds, gets a stop, they get the ball back, and Vikings go into the end zone on a nice hmm, fifty-yard drive or so, fifty-yard drive, and. uh Teddy finally, smartly, runs it in, gets a touchdown, and then the Vikings decide to go for two. Teddy shakes off the defensive end and then dives into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So now Vikings up 18-15, and it's getting real exciting. And then it turned into a total defensive struggle. <laughs> Terrence Newman goes out. And Trey Wayne has to come in for Terrence Newman, who was getting owned all games. He was fine by me just for a couple plays. But, and, of course, Trey Wayne comes in, has an immediate effect on the game, forcing an incomplete pass on third and three. Vikings get the ball back. But, mmm, this retarded play, um, some little weenie from the Rams comes and hits Teddy, literally knocks him out. He's lying on the ground, knocked out for like 20 seconds, and then of course stupid Fox cuts to a commercial, so we have no flipping clue what happened, and there should be a flag, and there is, eventually, finally, we've been getting burned the whole god dang game on stupid penalties that were bull, and now Todd Gurley explodes, and he's going for like 40 yards on one drive, and then Zerline attempts a field goal, doesn't make it! mind you. And then the Vikings maintain control of the ball, but Sean Hill has to come in for Teddy Bridgewater. So now Sean Hill can't move the ball with the crap, and Adrian Peterson gets, like, no blocking whatsoever. So then they're all done. They have the ball for 30 seconds. And so, yeah, and then it's a punt, punt, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. And then Greg Zerline gets redemption. He also made a 61-yarder early in the game, in case you're wondering. And um, gets his revenge. It's tied up 18-18. Vikings actually win the coin toss in overtime, and they defer. They, I don't know why you would defer, but I guess if you have a lot more confidence in your defense, which they probably should at that point because defense was spot on the whole game, but their offense was iffy. So, yeah, and then the Vikings defense comes through big time with a couple of big sacks. They come through, they get the ball back. At, like, the 50, Marcus Sherrill's with an amazing punt return. Little, little fellows on the sideline stays in bounds. It was, I guess the Rams just went like, oh, well, what the heck? I mean, we just, we don't really care. And so, yeah, 
And the Vikings get the ball. Blair Walsh nails the 40-yard field goal. He wins the game for the Vikings in overtime. Vikings win at 21-18. And Green Bay loses off an Aaron Rodgers interception on fourth and goal. They were driving downfield. And... Yeah, he threw a pick. <laughs> so, yeah, the Packers are 6-2. and two, The Vikings are 6-2, and two, which has never happened. The Vikings are on a four-game winning streak. This, I don't know what's going on with this division, but holy crap.